Do you have any news on the 100? Um, when's it coming back? Um, here's the thing. Well, I mean, it's back, and we're airing every Wednesday at 8 o'clock, yeah. DW. Um, and then sometimes, depending on the country, uh, Netflix as well. Obviously, that all is depending on yeah. where you are. Um, but we were able to finish shooting our final season literally right at the last second oh, after, right. before everything shut down. So we, uh, it's in the can. Like, it'll, we're done it, which is pretty crazy to think after seven years that I, I'll never, I'll never go back and, and do that again, which is wow. crazy and sad, but also, you know, exciting for the future. I think I was ready to be excited for the future and then boom, this whole thing hit and it was like, okay, well your excitement is going to need to be put on layaway until we can find out a way to be safe and be able to do our jobs. Again. Um, can you give fans a little bit of a preview about what's going to go on with your character at the end? In the hundred? Yeah. Well, again, I can't give away too much or Jason will kill me. Uh, it's, it's a season of Murphy being put into a position that he rarely is in, which is in a position of, of leadership through a lot of it. Usually I'm, you know, the wild card off on the side who kind of makes whatever decisions he wants to make. But in this one, he is actually going to be responsible for a certain number of people. And the decisions that he makes will affect, you know, their lives and whether they live or die, which I thought was a super interesting thing that, because we've done so much with Murphy over the seasons that for him to be in a leadership position, I thought that was something that was new to me. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. So that's where I, I can tell fans that's where that's headed. Mm. Seems like uh, that that was a, a pretty fun, cohesive cast. Was there a moment yeah. from, from all that experience, now looking back, that was, was the most memorable for you there? Oh boy. Um, I mean, a lot of season seven was that as we were winding down, you know, towards the end, um, the tears for me at least started flowing pretty freely on set almost every day. They were just, I was like, I think that's the last time I'm going to do this, or that's the last time I'm going to do this. So that's the last time I'm going to, you know, take a piss in my trailer. <laughs> like everything started to get a lot more emotional to me. So I think the entirety of season seven was kind of that, it was like a bit of, you know, like a victory lap. And every single day of that season seven, you just took complete and utter advantage of it and look around and know that you're not going to be doing it. You know, there's, a, there's an expiry date on this, which before we never had. I mean, there was always the chance we could have gotten canceled, but we knew this time. That's like, it's over. Yeah. When we get down to this day, March, March whatever it was, it's going to be over forever so that was pretty yeah that was the, the those were the moments was just kind of cohesively the whole thing 